Hi everybody, welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. I almost said RimWorld. It's Thimbleweed Park. Anyway, we're back. Uh, we made it finally to the hotel, which was uh, funnily enough outside of the town, which is fair enough. We have the key card uh, right here for room 301. Let's go. It's a revolving door. Let's go. Oh. You're investigating here too? Yes. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Why? What do you mean? What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? Because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. Paranormal? Yeah, I would. <laughs> what nonsense. Okay. My thoughts exactly. All right. What are you doing here? The pigeons. Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope. But this reporter's no says there's something odd about the whole thing. Franklin I'm working went up missing. A story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. Okay, we're having a flashback. He was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Weird. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. Aha. Uh -huh. can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. Oh. Chuck wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What luck finding some investors. Better get ready for them. Okay, get ready for a meeting with investors. Disguise appearance, check into hotel room, get duplicate of prospectus. Fuck, I, I'm starting to think that maybe our dead body is Franklin in disguise. Is that possible? It's a revolving door. Okay, in we go. All right, let's see. Walk to the fountain moat. Wow, listen to this music. Wow. Oh, look who it is. It's the manager of Reno. Why, hello, Mr. Edmund. We weren't expecting you in today. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? Abu, I'd like a private hotel room. Do you do photocopying here? I'd like a private hotel room. What do you want a hotel room for, Mr. Edmund Abu? To, um, none of your business. Uh -oh. I don't know why you want a room when Chuck Abu always has plenty of space for you in his penthouse suite. Oh, yeah. I guess so. Holy crap. Can I... How do I turn off this loud, awesome music? Goodbye. Have a nice evening. I can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. Jeez. Hey, dude. What's your damage? That's too loud. Yo, dude. What's up, dude? What's that jacket you're wearing? What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> You're too old to understand. <laughs> What's that on your face? What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Flem Games. With these on, no one knows who I am. Oh, I could use that. I could use that. What's on your What's feet? What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just nice. got them. Aren't they red? Are they pumps? You scrub? What's with all the latest and greatest? What's with all the latest and greatest? I'm not grody like you. Everyone knows that unless you've got the latest and greatest, you might as well barf. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. All right, fine, okay. Uh, what if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest what stuff? What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like, barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Right. Okay. Your jacket is not the latest. Okay, you know what? Your glasses are not the latest. Your glasses and are not the latest and greatest. These glasses got to be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. <laughs> okay. Nah, just teasing. All right. What if I said, "Won't you quit playing that music by ankle biter?" Ankle -biter. Oh, don't you just love this music? Turn it down! I don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests right now. I can't concentrate, for Christ's sake! Oh, look, let's use this drinking fountain. I'm not thirsty. What the hell? Okay, that's good. Now, let's look at this fountain. It's huge. There's like, looks like somebody's barfing. Okay, let's look there in the fountain. There are some coins at the bottom. 
What a waste of money. I don't want to pick that up. I don't think that water is clean. I could use... I could... Well, look, it's let's... It's my precious, dazzling four-page prospectus about turning the pillow factory into a toy factory. Okay, I let's... I only have the original. Let's open some... to give to the investors. Let's open some of these. I want to keep that surprise for the big meeting. I'm okay. sure it will blow their socks off. All right, there's a big meeting. What's up here now? It's a door to the hotel room hall and an event space area. Nice. There's another elevator here. It's the same elevator? Can I actually go up? Um, I guess we can go to the penthouse? Since we're allowed up there? Uh oh! That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Floor five. <gasps> oh. What's going on here? Why are we on floor five of all rooms? Floors, I mean. An ashtray for the smokers. Okay, there's nothing in this ashtray, I don't think. Okay, let's try to get back up to the penthouse, possibly? It takes it to floor five. Oh, it's like totally busted. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. So it can only... It takes us to a maximum of floor five. And then dumps us out here. Oh, maybe we can use this computer. I'm not using that. Maybe Shucks we probably can... probably monitoring every keystroke. Maybe we can pick up this calendar. I don't want to pick that up. Or look at it? It's still showing December 1986. Really? I guess they couldn't afford a new one for 1987. There's a bell here. A bell for calling the sheriff. I mean, hotel manager. Man, he... Hello, Mr. Edmund. What can I do for you, sir? It's the same guy every time. Do you do photocopying? Do you yet? have photocopying here? But of course we do, Wabu. Dabu, Wabu, Wabu. That is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper. Unless I get more paper, Abu, I won't be able to help you out. Okay, no problem. Uh, I'm going to go now. go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck. Okay. I've got this. Hello, Mr. Edmund. No! What can I do for you, Abu, sir? I didn't mean... I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Abu. Have a nice evening, Abu. I can't okay. talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. What's this way? Nothing. There's nothing this way. Um... I think we might have to talk our way out of the the kid's stuff. Because the, the disguise, he's got the disguise, right? Unless, can we leave? No, we can't. He was last seen in the... In the lobby. And then, I guess, he went off the grid because he had this disguise. This cool disguise. Let's give a bear to annoy the annoying Want kid. this bear? I guess he can't hear me. Okay, let's turn off his boombox. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Okay, this this bear this is the latest and greatest. This new is the latest and greatest. Newer than your stuff, I'll trade you. You're such a poser. Anything you say must be totally bogus. What the hell? Uh, don't you just love this music? I'll just push this button here. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Okay, let's give him... The blue bear instead. This new Teddy prototype is the latest and greatest. Newer than your stuff, I'll trade you. You're such a poser. Anything you say must be totally bogus. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? You son of a bitch. Hey, dude, what's your damage? <laughs> Yo, let's, dude. Let's talk to him again. Uh, won't you quit playing that music? Won't you quit playing that music? You're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. Maybe uh, I am. Don't you just love this music? Maybe I am your dad. Hey, dude. What's your damage? Oh, Yo, God. dude. Uh, what if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? We tried this already, Holy though. Barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Nice. Um... I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh, yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Bet you I do. you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... Uh, I know this gnarly dude who... I've got a fly homie. I know some peeps who... 
I know this gnarly know dude. This gnarly dude who um publishes a, a zine was on MTV blogs all the time writes a new publishes a zine. Publishes there we go. Publishes a zine and Get real. I'm like totally stopping you right there. No one who's tight would talk like that. No way do you know what's rad right now, poser. Okay, we have to convince him. All right. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. We have to oh, talk yeah? like we're from the 80s. I don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. I Truth, totally you're not do. Just an old dweeb from the 50s. All right. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and I uh, I got this fly homie. I know some peeps. I know some peeps. I know some peeps who Get real. I'm like totally stopping you right now. Wait, uh, the no gnarly one tight would talk like that. No way do you know what's rad right okay, now, Okay, it was poser. the zine thing. It was the zine. Okay, I, I got I it. I totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh, yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. I bet Truth, you I you're do. You're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. All right, I'm sure I can prove it. I'm about I'm to prove totally it to you. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I know this gnarly I dude. I know this gnarly dude who... Uh, was on MTV? Was on MTV and... <gasps> it worked! Tells me what's sweet. Okay, no, the hashtag thing is no. Tells me that's the, what's the cat's pajamas and what's the bee's knees. Tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Tells me what's hip, daddy-o. Tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. <gasps> Whoa! I got it! You're legit! I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until All right. then, I'm gonna rock out. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? All right, here. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Hi, I have a, a prototype pillow bear to give dude, you. Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous, big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. <gasps> You'd do that for me? Oh, sick. That's right. Well, what do you want to trade? Um, I want your jacket. I want your, your glasses. I'll trade you the bear for your glasses. No faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No, duh! Eh, take the glasses then. Nice. Quick, before anyone notices I have them. First, here's my used gum for your collection. Thanks. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, dweeb dude, or gnarlicious, or... <laughs> dweeb dude! I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! Your ace! Later, dude. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, let's pick up this boombox just it in case. It only plays that one song, and I've already heard enough of that. What's uh, what's up with this glass? It looks it's like it's been lipstick to death. Okay, there's some gum here. Okay, now let's use. The hotel manager is right there. He's one of Chuck's spies. I'd better not change into my disguise while he's near. Okay, I know just what to do. All right, let's go up to the penthouse. But actually, it won't. It take us to floor five, and then we can apply our disguise. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Okay, wait. Floor seven this time. Nice. All right, now let's use our nose and. Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, now we can get a room, right? We should be able to get a room now. Uh, let's just push that. Let's go down here. Perfect. Perfect. We're on the mezzanine. Okay, now let's go down and let's get a room. Hey. What's Welcome up, manager? Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the tri thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Be a boo. Um, I'd like to check in. I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, abu, for the booking? Um, Emilio Estevez, Frank Zappa. Hi, my name is Emilio, Emilio Estevez. Emilio Estevez. Of course, Mr. Estevez. We have a lovely suite abu for you on the seventh floor. Perfect. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art abu Hotel Tron 3000. Right. It's such new technology abu that we're still fitting out the rooms on the tenth floor. Wow. How else may I be abu of service? Um, is there any surveillance in the hotel? Is there any surveillance in the hotel? 
No, certainly not, Mr. Estevez. <laughs> oh, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with us. Wow. Sounds like surveillance to me. How much, you ask? For just $19.99, you get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends Abu back home. Wow. There's such a new system that we're still installing it on the 10th Abu floor. You, you Since said. you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay here, we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. Right. Roger. Okay. I'm going to look at my beautiful lobby. I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Okay. So we're in. 701. Okay, so it's not we're we're not the right the the same guy, right? I don't think anyway. But maybe it'll happen that that we are in Actually, there's no way because the disguise is not like um it was just it's just the nose and glasses, so it's not it's not it's not this guy. It turns out 701. Okay, let's check into our room and see if we can steal a bunch of shampoo it's locked. and stuff. Okay, we'll use our card. 701. What a mess. What a mess. Hello? Hello? Yes. Only on Tuesdays. Yes. I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. Nice. Why is this room so gross? What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. And I still need to get a copy of my amazing prospectus. Oh, then yeah. I can keep the original for myself and give a copy to the investors. Right. Got you. Okay. We know what to do. Um, let's pick up some stationery. Perfect. Now we have some stationery. Let's pick up the phone book and steal that too. Okay. Let's not actually. We can't steal that. Can we turn on the it's TV? It's turned off. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. Uh, okay. It's now showing I love my cat. I... I love my cat. Okay, let's use the lamp switch. Nice, the lamp is now on. This is great. Uh, we gotta... Let's use this lamp switch as well. Perfect, the lights are all on. Let's pick up this nice painting and steal it. I don't it. want to pick that up. What is it? Another landscape? I'd rather look out the window. Oh. It's getting dark out there now. Okay, let's open the window. I can't open that. Okay, now let's let's push the Hotel Tron 3000. I can't push that. Okay, let's pull it a little I bit then. I can't pull that. Okay, let's open it up then. I can't open that. Okay, now let's use our... I could do with both a hug and a nap right now, but I've got to get ready for my meeting. Okay, we can't use that. Okay, let's use this light switch. Who's the fairest of them all? There's the toilet lid here. Let's open the toilet lid. Okay, it's open. I, what the hell? What? Okay, now let's pick up some toilet paper. I don't want that. Okay, what can we use this stationery for? Okay, what do we... It's a pillow bear. Okay, get more photocopy paper. Get a duplicate of the prospectus. Disable the surveillance camera and call investors when we're ready. Who are the investors again? It's my precious, dazzling four-page prospectus. I guess we just use the phone. A toy or do we have to? I only oh, what's have the sunset? original. In case of emergency, do not sue Chuck Edmund. Right. Okay. Um, can we use this light switch? Oh, it's really creepy in here with all the lights off. But with these lights on, it's like quite nice actually. It's really good. Okay. There's this bed here as well. The Hotel Tron 3000 seems to think this bed is made. Oh. I can't push that. I can't pull that. It seems to think that the bed is made? That's odd, because it's clearly not made. Huh. Okay, is there like a pen or something in here? I don't know what I would need a, a pen for, but... Okay, there's the mirror. So there's the, the lid here as well. We've done all this stuff. Uh, we have some stationery. It's a mostly blank piece of paper with the hotel's letterhead. I think we need four pieces of stationery, though. Right? Because it's four pages. One page isn't enough to do the photocopy. We'll try it anyway, though. Okay, let's go to the buttons. Let's go right down to the lobby this time. Uh, we've got this gum as well. We might be able to use the gum. 
on the lens of the... I should have tried that, actually. Should have tried to put the, the gum on there. Let's use this gum. Okay, yeah, we can use it with something if we want to. Maybe with this uh, glass, the lipstick. Should we try that with the with the glass? I'd better hold on to this until later. Okay, that that must be okay. Let's give this stationery to the men. Could you use this as photocopying paper? What a great idea, Abu! That will do nicely. Perfect. To photocopy my prospectus, I need to give him four pages in total. If that's all, I'll get back to my duties. Can I? Welcome back to the Edmund Hotel. Oh Mr. yeah, the Estevez. the bed wasn't How made. May I be a boo of service? My bed wasn't made. Um, is there any set? I'm going I'm back. I'm going to look at my. I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have maybe a nice if I. Evening, maybe if I phone from my room and say that my bed wasn't made, he'll give me a new room, and I just have to like do that a couple of times, and then um, I'll have enough pieces of paper. And maybe I can put the gum on the lens of the last room I stay in. What if the last room I stay in is room 301, though? That would be really crazy. All right, let's see. Um, let's go to the phone book and see. Um, this is the white pages. It's it's just usually zero, I'm not right? Ready yet. Oh, I've you can't. I've still got to stop that camera from watching my room and okay. get a copy of my prospectus to give away so I can keep the original. Uh, you, there. Okay, the gum. I'm not ready yet. I've still got to stop that camera from watching my room and get a copy of my prospectus to give away so I can keep the original. Wait, is the gum working? Looks goopy enough for me to stick something to it to block the lens. Oh, okay. So I could like use, um... It doesn't work with that. I need, okay. What about if I use, no. I can't use the... Okay, we'll find something. Some toilet paper or something. Okay. We're getting close. But we're not quite there yet. But we'll be back next time to figure it out. We're so close to disabling this. Um, this security Tron thing. And then I just need three more pieces of paper. And we should be golden. I don't know where I'm going to get them from. But we'll, we'll figure it out. Maybe there's some drawers or something here. Or... God knows. Maybe the, the, the Hotel Tron will... We'll do it or I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out anyway. All right. As usual, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.